my a sum, quick summary of my period at that period at Stanford is I was there four years, I took four courses, and I wrote four papers. And nobody knows what the courses were anymore. I can remember one of them, I on discrete mathematics. But um, the, I've been making a living off the four papers for the rest of my life. Um, in the 60s, it goes back to the period at the AI lab at MIT because we were in the same building that had Project Mac and had the Multics project, Multics project being the major activity of Project Mac. And Multics is the most ambitious, most important uh, operating system project, I believe, of all time. Um, the, it's the parent of Unix. That's the only piece of it survives, I think, is any, doing any real operations. But Multics was tremendously ambitious about storage management, about scheduling, about security. And I was therefore hearing conversation about security issues. And my response was, and I remember I was a hippie, right? I, I, was, I was very countercultural. Uh, I didn't. I didn't, I believe, I regarded the police as my enemy, not my friend. Um, and so my response to the discussion of file protection was, well, what good is that? Because they'll serve a subpoena on the system operators and they'll sell you out. They have, well, they're not going to jail, protect your files. And so I had this view that now looks, you know, technically naive. I mean, it turns out to be harder than I expected. I thought, well, cryptography is the only mechanism you can have that will really protect you. Once you get something encrypted correctly, then they have to come to you and try to get the key out of you. You don't have other people who can sell you out. Now, that became, you know, the basis for a big political argument and uh, a, lot of my, uh, a lot of my career as well.